Hi, my name is John Bors and I'm an applications engineer working on the SmartRay product line. In this video, I will go over using Max Crypto on the SmartRay 3162 controller. I will demonstrate this feature by configuring a RAID 0 volume, writing a data block to it, verifying that the data is in plain text, encrypting the volume, and then verifying that the data is encrypted. Max Crypto is a controller-based encryption mechanism that enables data protection within the encryption boundary of the controller, which includes the cache module and the downstream topology consisting of cables, expanders, and drives. It supports logical RAID volumes on any drive type connected to the controller. Controller-based encryption is preferred to self-encrypting drives because it provides superior security, flexibility, and total cost of ownership. In this demo, I will use a local master key to encrypt a RAID 0 volume. The tools available for encryption configuration include HII, RCONF, and MaxView. In this video, I will use MaxView to configure both the RAID 0 volume and the encryption. Now let's create the RAID 0 volume using MaxView. Click on the Create Logical Device icon. Select RAID 0, select the drives to be included in the volume, specify the RAID attributes, and then click Finish. Using lsCSI-G on the host, I can confirm that the logical volume was created properly. Now let's write raw data to the drive. I'm using YES and DD to write a stream of data to the first block of the logical device. Now let's read back the written data block. By moving the drives to an HPA mode controller, it's possible to read the raw data from the first block of the volume. Now let's configure encryption on the controller. Go to Initial Setup and configure a role as well as a master key. Make a note of the master key. Now encrypt the RAID 0 volume. Click on the Max Crypto settings icon. If using a controller that does not support encryption, the Max Crypto icon will be grayed out. Select the logical device to encrypt and apply encryption to this device. Make sure to check the Preserve Existing Data checkbox. This menu will be available only if Max Crypto is logged in. Now let's read the raw data. Here we see that the data is encrypted. Factors which should be considered before using encryption are key management and user policy. For more information, visit the Smart Storage Adapter website. Thank you for watching.